Hey guys, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how container presentation pattern works. Here, I have created a basic application which fetch to-dos from the API and set to the state and render it in the UI. So here, there is a problem. The problem is reusability. So here we have render to-do list and render to-do list both. So here I fetch to-dos, here I fetch habits. So habits are basically to-dos that we do every day, right? So when you want to build the habit, you want to render that to-do item every day. So same to-do item. This code is duplicated. So in that case, there is a simple way to fix it. So which is we can create to-do item. Here to-do, it is I to-do type. Here I'm going to get this one and paste here. I don't need the key now. Here, I'm going to pass the to-do item and the key is to-do.id. So this method can fix the reusability problem. Okay. So now in this way, we can pass the same component. So let's copy this and to-do item. So we can pass it to here and here and it will work. But the problem is testing okay so when we test this application we have to write mock data and test this entire component and we have to write mock data to test this entire component so we we need to write the mock data to test this list right so instead of testing that list every single component we can separate this list into another component and test it once this is how it looks like so here I'm going to create a container component that fetch data. Instead of adding this kind of to do item, I'm going to remove it. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this entire list and create a new component called to do list. Here, I'm going to add a React fragment, and here I'm going to pass here i'm gonna pass props okay now props has to do done so now i'm gonna go to basic component and get this ui logic and I'm going to create a to-do list container here called to-do list container. Here I'm going to create a component. Here I'm going to paste this logic. And I'm going to import all the missing parts. There are no props involved here. This is just React function. Here we get to do list. To that to do list, I'm gonna pass to do's from the to do side. Okay, now let's remove this one also. Okay, now this is the container presentation pattern. Okay, so here I have one component for logic and one component for rendering there. Okay. In this way, the benefit is here you can see I have test cases. So I can test the to do list separately. So in this way, I can mock the list data in here. So, anyways, we only pass I to do type objects to these lists. Okay. In that case, we can create a mock data array which contains I to do type objects and test it once. So after you do that, you don't have to mock those lists in this unit test. So in this way, the testing will become easier. Okay. So that's the benefit that you are getting from this container presentation pattern. So here I want to mention that I have added a React fragment, not a div article or any tag. The reason is the way we style the list handled by the container, not the presentation. This item can be styled according to the way you want, not this 
list also do not add any logic in the presentation okay so in that way the testing become easier okay this should be a pure components so here this is not a pure component okay now you know what are the benefits there's a disadvantage also here in the container we only render this component i forgot to mention this in the to-do list container always render only this to-do list presentation component don't render anything else if you want add a style for the list other than that don't add any other things in here okay the downside is we are introducing a new layer here you can see we have a component in the component this is the container and this is the component right so this container layer is additional okay but we can replace this container layer using custom hooks iota components or react contest those deserves a separate videos because those are considered as we are design patterns as well that's why this is a video series not just one video also we cannot completely replace component logic using those things because in here we just fetch data right but there are a lot of things we have to do in a component so keep that in mind in the next video i will teach you how high order components works so make sure you like and subscribe see you in that one